Yeah, I'm not sure what is going on with, um, I don't know if it's Periscope or what's happening, but I will only be able to take a couple of questions. As you guys know, as my followers know, I have to go pick up my son. So for those that were on the last Periscope, you can go back and watch it. Um, I, you know what? I will do a whole thing on intercessors tomorrow. Someone is asking about intercessors. But every intercessor, um, every prophet is an intercessor. Every prophetic gift has to be an intercessor. And so we, I'll, I'll go through some of the makings of intercessors, but we're start, are starting to make that a separate office. It's not. Really, every believer should be. The only difference is that most intercessors have burdens. So I'll, I'll do a, um, a Periscope scope on that but I can take um um, I'll, I can take some questions. How do you deal with church hurts and the spirit of isolation? You will really have to go back on some of my periscopes. I, I, you can find me on YouTube. I did a lot of teaching on that a couple of weeks ago. But the most important thing is that you need to just get over it. Get in a community that can help. Yeah, I'm not sure what is going on with, um, I don't know if it's Periscope or what's happening, but I will only be able to take a couple of questions. As you guys know, as my followers know, I have to go pick up my son. So for those that were on the last Periscope, you can go back and watch it. Um, I, you know what? I will do a whole thing on intercessors tomorrow. Someone is asking about intercessors. But every intercessor, um, every prophet is an intercessor. Every prophetic gift has to be an intercessor. And so we, I'll, I'll go through some of the makings of intercessors, but we're start, are starting to make that a separate office. It's not. Really, every believer should be. The only difference is that most intercessors have burdens. So I'll, I'll do a, um, a Periscope scope on that. But I can take, um, um, I'll, I can take some questions. How do you deal with church hurts and the spirit of isolation? You will really have to go back on some of my periscopes. I, I, you can find me on YouTube. I did a lot of teaching on that a couple of weeks ago. But the most important thing is that you need to just get over it. Get in a community that can help heal you. If community wounded you, there's a healthy community that can help heal you. Ask the Holy Spirit to begin uh, to walk you, uh, help you walk out that deliverance. All right. All right. Yep. I'll take one or two more questions. Top three books for prophets. These are probably, these were books that kind of, um, framed me and really helped me. So the first one that I recommend to my mentees and spiritual children is the prophetic ministry by Rick Joyner. That was a huge one for me because it gave me language uh, to my existence. One that I recommend for women. And we have a women's conference coming up in Raleigh in November. I want to see you all ladies. And then in June, we have a conference with Apostle Matthew. So I want to see everybody. Um, but it's called the Matriarchal Dimension by Kiara Banks. That's huge for prophetic women, apostolic women. Of course, I love The Seer um, by James Goal. Um, that is a, a huge one. Uh, so those would be my three, uh, not necessarily my top three, but uh, three that I can think off of my head right now. And we'll do a book list. How do you approach your leader about your office or gift? You should just be able to approach them and you approach them in humility and you say, this is what I'm sensing. This is what I've been seeing. God, what are you saying? All right. Seers. Every prophet is a seer. No, 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 that's not true. Every, every seer is a prophet, but not every prophet is a seer. Someone is asking about seers. But just because you have visions and just because you have dreams, that does not make you a seer. It just makes, makes you someone who operates in the seeing realm. So some prophets are seers. They're more visionaries. They're more, the, the, uh, operators or the mode of how God communicates with them is through the seeing realm. But we, I can talk about that at some other point. Uh, but I think we tend to, uh, make it much deeper than it really is. All right. Let's see. I'm an evangelist intercessor, but prophetic is on me heavy. Should this be? Yes. Most evangelists have a strong gift of prophecy. And most evangelists, sometimes they're named wrong as prophets, but evangelists should have a strong gift of prophecy in terms of words of knowledge, words of wisdom, so that they can help bring um, healing in their crusades. They can see signs and wonders. So evangelists should have a strong gift um, um, of that. 
I'm going to have to jump off in a couple of minutes. I'll take one more questions and then I'll jump back on at another time. Can you spo uh, can I scope on incubus and succubus? Sometime I will. I'll probably do um something on on deliverance uh on that. So what about a pastor? I'm a pastor. Um yeah, pastors, I mean I'll do one on fivefold, but you you may have a strong prophetic gift. It just depends on how God has wired you. How do you grow in the spirit? Get in community, get a prayer life, and obey the Lord when he begins to talk to you. Should you minister on the prophetic if you haven't walked out deliverance? Yeah, maybe you should. It depends on what's happening. All right, guys, I have to jump off. I'll talk with you soon. Got to get my baby.